question of the images and the behavior has been a tension in the women's movement for decades. How do you address it, uh, that question of does imagery increase violence um, and vice versa? Well, I don't think that people see images of rape or domestic violence and become violent when they would not otherwise be. What it does is it normalizes it. It makes us see it in our lives and think, oh, well, there's nothing we can do about it. It's that same passivity, which is exactly how the people who perpetrate these crimes have impunity because we become passive, we think it's inevitable, we think it's not that big a deal, it's normal, it's natural. There's a lot of social research backing that up. So it's not that we're causing people who weren't violent to become violent. Although we also know that while we know that most guys aren't rapists, we know that we do know that rapists think most guys are rapists, mm -hmm. right? So when guys who are already inclined to be violent towards women see that imagery and they see everyone sort of, oh, ha ha, you know, laughing it off, being treated as humor or not a big deal, it completely reinforces their worldview, which allows them to commit these acts. Mm -hmm.